Hello everyone. In this video clip, I discuss partnership tax return for 2020-21 with the example how to add the data to the partnership tax return. Now let's look at how partnership tax return looks like in this time. So this is the first page, main page of the tax return. It's including the details of total income of the partnership, assessable income, taxable income and the tax calculation and details of tax payable and exempt amounts. Page 2, taxpayer declaration form as usual you can find and you can see here. Then there are four additional pages including seven schedules, schedule 1, schedule 2, schedule 3, schedule 4, schedule 5 and schedule 6 and 7. So let's look at the example. Now according to this example, two partners are there, Nimal and Kamal. They distribute, share their profit equally and according to the information for the financial year 31st March 2021, gross profit from the trade 28,300,000, rent income not effectively connected means rent income shall be considered as investment re receipts, dividend received 1.4 million again investment sale of quoted public shares so this is, should be considered as exempt amounts 600,000 interest from treasury bills interest from fixed deposit total income of the partnership 34 million 975 uh, expenditure administration expenses 13 million 772 Selling and distribution 5,963,000, financial expenses 2,000,000, a net profit of the partnership 13,240,000. Now, when calculating this 13,240,000, following expenses has been claimed, salaries paid to Nimal 1.6 million and salaries paid to Kamal 1.2 million. Interest paid to Kamal on loan 435,000. According to the provisions of the Act, we know that Section 53.7 Services rendered by the partners to the partnership and receipt from that services cannot be considered as deductible expenditure when calculating the partnership profits. In addition to that details, a land keeping as an investment asset disposed during the year for the value of 9.5 million. Now this is investment asset. Therefore, the market value of the land as at 30 September 2017 can be considered as cost of the asset. The details is given here. Uh, during the year partnership made a donation to the government hospital 200,000 that can be considered as qualifying payment and total tax paid uh, by the partnership uh, before 30th September 2021 that means entire tax liability has been paid. All other expenses are allowable for purpose of taxation. So let's see how the computation to be made. Now according to this computation page, you can see net profit of the partnership 13 million. From that, the investment receipt has been excluded. Rent effectively connected, not effectively connected to the business, therefore it has been excluded. Dividend, quarter shares exempt, treasury bills interest, again investment receipt. FD interest, investment receipt and it is 
considered as investment receipts and therefore removed from business profits. Then the salary is paid to Kamal and Nimal according to the provision added to the profit and interest paid to loan on this should be Kamal Kamal 435 added to the profit donation to the government 200,000 also included because this is donation considered as qualifying payment however when calculating the assable income it cannot be uh, claim first you have to calculate ca uh, assable income from assable income we can deduct from this 200,000 call it a qualifying payment and uh, according to the calculation partnership accessible income will be 10 million then investment income rent income 2.4 million dividend 1.4 million interest 2 million 275 uh, other than that investment income other than the capital gain cumulative value 6 million 75,000 according to the details a land belongs to the partnership has been disposed during the year for the value of 9.5 million that is consideration received in respect of the partnership plan and since it is a it was a investment asset the cost of the asset can be considered as the market value of the asset as at 30th September 2017 so after deducting 7 million and uh, from 9.5 million consideration so gain from the realization of investment asset 2.5 million so on this 2.5 million partnership supposed to pay 250 10% of tax 250,000 within one month after the date of disposal then altogether investment income 8 million 575 total partnership passable income 18 million 575 donation made to the approved charity now they can deduct from assable income then partnership taxable income would be 18 million 375,000 now this 18 million 375,000 will be tax out of this 18 million 2.5 million considered as realization of investment asset on that 10 percent tax to be calculated on the balance partnership taxable income 1 million will be taxed at the rate of zero the balance 14 million 875 875 will be taxed at the rate of six percent then the total tax liability of the partnership 1 million 142,500 and according to the information this tax has already been paid prior to 30th September 2021 now we look at how the this income distribute among two partners income and the credit and other exempt amounts and all how it shared among the partners now here income from business Nimal and Kamal total income from business 10 million that income distributed among between uh, Nimal and Kamal by way of salaries 2.8 million interest paid to Kamal 435,000 so balance business received 6 million 765 distributed between them 50 percent each so 3 million 385 now total business income so Nimal portion is 4 million 500 Kamal portion 5 million 17,500 investment income rent distributed between them half half dividend same interest 1 million 1 uh, 1 million 135 uh, 37, 
500 total investment uh, income 6 million 75000 distribute between the two partners 3 million 37500 3 million 37500 total business and investment income nimal get 8 million and 20000 kamal get 8 million 55000 deductions donation made to government again shared 50% each other tax paid tax credit the payment of tax credit now here 892 500 this tax credit given to nimal based on the receipt he gets from the partnership income now the kamal nimal get 8 million 20 thousand and our total partnership income 16 million 75 thousand so so this is the ratio that tax credit given to nimal and the ratio for kamal is given here and all to uh, kamal is getting 447,222 nimal is getting 445,278 other income and the payments now there is no impact on these payments and uh, receipts when considering uh, when consider individual tax uh, calculation but uh, it is a type of di disclosure capital gain 2.5 million distribute 1.2 uh, 250 1.250 among uh, between the, uh, these two partners remember no further tax liability as a cap individual capacity because our ones uh, capital gain tax paid by the partnership it is final tax so they are the further tax is not applicable on that capital gain exempt amount 600,000 dis uh, distribute uh, 300 300 each capital gain tax paid also 125,000 125,000 uh, each partner is given 50 percent now that also cannot be claimed as a tax credit because the tax liability already paid by the part partnership and this income is not will not be considered as income in the hands of the individual therefore tax credit also not claimable <coughs> from individual return or in, as a individual tax credit now how to enter this data into the tax return now first this is main page of the partnership tax return first we have to put tick these boxes if the partnership is resident so we have to put resident cage if non-resident so we have to use this cage and address and tin number most probably these tin numbers will be printed and issued however if, if it is not there so you have to put your tin number in in these boxes provided so moving to the figures now business income of the partnership should be included under cage number 10 so we remember that uh, business income is 10 million so 10 million we include in cage number 10 then the investment other than the capital gain realization of investment asset total investment income 6 million 75000 so it should be included in cage number 20 no any other income gains from realization of investment asset 2.5 million so it is included in cage number 40 altogether partnership income 18 million 575 included in cage number 50 then a qualifying payment that paid to the government hospital 200000 claimable as a qualifying payment that should be included in cage number 60 then partnership total assess taxable income will be 18 million 375 tax calculation we made we did the cal calculation uh, tax on partnership 
taxable income 892,500 tax on Realization of investment asset 250,000 total tax payable 1,142,000 including cage number 100 uh, according to the information partnership paid full tax prior to 30th September therefore I include that amount in 110 so there is no balance payable or um, refund due there is no balance payable in this cage if if partnership tax not fully paid then so balance payable should be included in this cage provided in 120 partnership exempt income 600,000 quartered shares disposal of quartered shares that is that has been included in the cage number 130 so the main page is done then page number two as usual if you obtain as uh, any assistance from outside person so that outside person's details should be entered in this part a if not so part a is not necessary but the part b is compulsory tax on behalf of the partnership president partner should fill these de details in this part B column and details should be given according to the part B. Then we move to the schedules of the partnership tax return. This is schedule 1. Schedule 1 you have to include the details of partners. First this is partnership TIN number, then they are, so details of partners should be included. Now, A, the partner animal, and their individual TIN number should be in, included under this cage. NIC number of the partner, profit sharing ratio, Kamal, same, his TIN number, NIC, and profit sharing ratio. So, the details of the partner should be included under Schedule 1. Schedule 2, the distribution of partnership income and capital gain from realization of investment asset other than the exempt amount. Now, these cages should utilize for that purpose. Now, here we can see By way of salaries, partners appropriate profit 2.8 million. The details include as A partner Nimal, B is Kamal. The details of Nimal should be included cage number 1. Kamal's details cage number 2. Then no interest paid to Nimal, but Kamal is given 435,000. I include here. So total business income here the balance business income included in cage number A and B here under 207 boxes so this 3,382,500 that is included under cage number 207 then total partnership business income cumulative value of this and this should include here cumulative value of this and this and this should be included here in Kai under the Kamal's name. Now total partnership income 10 million according to our calculation we know that partnership business income is 10 million. The investment income 6,075,000 shared among the between the partners and that amount included in cage number A and B. No other income. The total partnership income. This is this cage, this cage, and this cage amount. Here I included in cage number A, eight million, and this and this cumulative value. I include B cage number two, 
and total partnership income other than realization gain from investment asset 16 million 75000 included in total cage then gain from realization of investment asset again this is a type of declaration shared between two partners 50 50 1 million to 250000 1 million 250000 altogether 2 million 500 2 million 500000 now go to the next schedule distribution of partnership exempt income schedule 2b we know that uh, 600000 ordered public shares distributed uh, among uh, between two partners 300000 300000 so it is details included in schedule 2b then schedule 3 schedule 3 provided to include the payments of tax now they are schedule 3a capital gain payment detail of capital gain now land or building what is the the narration should be included in case number one the date of tax paid the uh, based on the realization uh, when the partnership made the payment of tax that details you should include under cage number 215 and 250,000 paid and that 250,000 included under cage number 5 of 216 then the details of uh, advance income tax deducted by the agent now they are again if partnership provide any consent to the outside person to deduct their tax based on the their payments like interest or dividend if they ask financial institution or the companies based on their income if they deduct advance income tax as a withholding tax that amount you can include under this schedule 3b but according to the information advance income tax has not been deducted by any agent of the partnership therefore so there is no details under schedule 3b schedule 3c details of self-assessment payment you can see here self-assessment according to the due dates the partnership paid self-assessment payment 200 200 200 200 all together 800,000 and prior to 30th September on the 30th September they made the, uh, the balance payment 92,500 92, altogether partnership payment 892,500 should be included schedule 3c then schedule 4 schedule 4a calculation of partnership tax liability now they are cage number 229 so we have to include total partnership taxable income according to the calculation partnership taxable income 18 million 375 so included in cage number 229 the first 1 million tax at the rate of 0 balance 14 million tax at the rate of 6 out of this 18 million, 2,500,000 million 500, 2, tax at the rate of 10%, that is realization as of investment asset, that 250,000. And altogether, the partnership tax liability, now this 892,000 self assessment payment, realization of investment asset tax paid 250,000. So this is again tax credit available in the partnership according to the details so we have to provide the, the details here now this is the payment according to our payment uh, made uh, made so we have to include these amounts uh, so this is the tax liability of the partnership then we move into schedule 5 allocation of tax payment qualifying payments and advance income tax uh, between the partners 
Now self-assessment payment, we know that we allocated according to the ratio that we utilize. I have provided the ratio and according to that ratio, Nimal is given 445,278. Kamal, the value for Kamal 447,222. So capital gain 125,125,000 each. So this is the total tax payment of partnership and this is capital gain tax payment by the partnership so that distribution between the partners is given in cage number 239 and 240 qualifying payment qualifying payment uh, government donation hospital government hospital donation 200,000 that is uh, shared uh, uh, equally in the two partners between two partners so 100,000 100,000 each that is 200,000. So cage number 5 we can see the total of donation made. Advance income tax, there is no advance income tax. Therefore, the cages we need not to fill. Cage number, schedule number 6. The partnership during the year, any loss incurred by the partnership, that detail should be provided under schedule 6. However, remember, this partnership losses after distributing between the partners there won't be any losses carried forward because partnership loss cannot be carried forward from the partnership if any loss is there that loss should be shared among the partners so partners themselves they can carry forward that amount in, uh, in another six years therefore carry forward schedule is not provided in the partnership return only the during the year details you can fill using this cage uh, schedule 6 in case if the partnership incurred any losses investment capital gain or the business losses during the year that details you can provide using schedule 6 schedule 7 it's details of accounts, the turnover, exempt turnover, administration expenses and the financial expenses uh, and uh, uh, other expenses. Then uh, the details of the balance sheet, the trading stock, the raw material, the um, opening and the closing balances of that assets, receivable, payables and all. So this is according to the financial statement so you can provide the details on the schedule 7 so after providing after providing all the details so fill the details uh, your name and the telephone numbers and uh, email addresses uh, the date and uh, put your signature and submit your partnership tax return on or before 30th november 2000 21. Hope this video clip helpful for you to fill your partnership income details in your assessment 2020-21. Thank you very much.